Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a quick lesson, uh, you know, giving, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, and uh, showing the significance and the importance of Yahweh Shai and his sacrifice. You know, because if it wasn't for him, um, myself, nor any of you, Akiyam and Akwath, you know, would have been, would have been able uh, to have been allowed this understanding. You know, we wouldn't have been able uh, to have been granted access back to the Father if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, if it wasn't for his blood. You see, so uh, what I wanted to do is, you know, get into a few scriptures, you know, Lord willing, bring comfort, you know, to myself and to you, Akiyam and Akwath, you know, going into how, uh, we weren't called into this thing for no reason. You know, uh, everything that we were involved in in the world prior to being involved in this truth, you know, through the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, we, were, we were immersed in wickedness. You know, we nothing could change us. Nothing could make, nothing could make us stop doing what we were doing uh, as far as, you know, whatever we were caught up in, whether it be smoking weed, you know, into gangbanging, you know, into being a pimp, you know, into just being a wicked nigga. You know, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. Nothing could turn us, you know. But when we got a, when we got a, uh, <laughs> a healthy dose of, of that healthy fear for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through this gospel being preached in this true veracity by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, that's what quickened us and turned us and brought us back into the path of righteousness. You know, and Lord willing, we can endure until the end and be rewarded because the reward is coming. You know, whether, you know, these people believe it or not, a reward's coming to us that have been called into this thing. You know, from the men of the Lord, you write the first fruits, the 144,000, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number, all the way down to the innumerable, the innumerable multitude, all right, of men, women, and children, all right, that make up the rest of the one third. You see, there's a reward coming for holding fast and striving for the truth until death. And now uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into the book of, um, uh, 1 Corinthians, real quick, 15. Uh, let's start here. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15. And Lord willing, you, Akiyam, and Akwath are going to be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right, this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15. And I'm going to start at verse 22, and it reads, For as in Adam, right, all die. And Adam was Yahweh Shai. This is why scripture says he's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You see, he was Adam. He came back as the Hamashiach, all right, where he actually conquered death through Yahweh, right? He died and was resurrected through the, he, he died and resurrected through the power of Yahweh. You see, he, de he, he defeated death through the spirit and power of Yahweh. You see, and as for us, you know, because Adam transgressed, okay, the, the oral covenant that was made between him and the Most High, right, of how to walk the path of righteousness, okay, when he, he followed behind Eve, you know, when she was beguiled by the serpent, right, which was a malicious man in the garden, and she picked up on the philosophies that, she, that he pitched her, and, 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 and Adam endorsed it and enrolled with it, right? Death came into the world, man, through envy of the devil came death into the world, right? And now all men, as in, uh, Salakia, all die as in all Israelites, our uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see, because we were meant to be immortal. We were built to be immortal. We were never supposed to die. You see, pursuing, let's get this real quick. Let me get a piece up to back that up real quick. Bear with me. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. What's that? Uh, is that the second chapter? Khan, the book of wisdom of Solomon, right? Chapter two and uh, verse 23. And it reads, for, for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai created man 
to be immortal. See? And and made him to be an image of his own eternity. See? And this is talking about Israel. Israel only. This is not talking about uh, the heathen. One more precept to drive this point home. And this is through the spirit. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, I want to see that survive. Let me see. Bear with me for one second. Uh, Khan, the book of Ecclesiastes, also known as the book of Sirach, right? Chapter 37, right? In verse 25, and it reads, The days of the life of man may be numbered, you see? But the days of Israel are innumerable. Okay, remember there's three classifications of men. All right, you got the sons of God, right? The Adamites, all right? Before their name was changed to Israel, right? Uh, the sons that we were once called sons of God, right? Literally, right? And then you have the sons of men, right? Which are the heathens. And then you have the, son of, the sons of perdition, all right? The, the, the wicked seed, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, that the base man. That's why Job 30 uh, says... Um, they were children of base men, right? And they were more viler than the earth. Uh, this is talking about evil eat, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay? Now, we were built to be immortal as Israelites, man. Okay? But through uh, envy of the devil, right, came death into the world. And now we have to die like men, as it's written, right? But again, us being woken up to this truth, all right, this is the beginning stages of us coming back into that righteous estate. Of immortality, man. Okay, which is part of the uh, second covenant, man. Which is part of the promise that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh um, Shai uh, has promised us, man. Right? Let's go back to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, and verse 22 again. For I just want to make that point. For as in Adam all die, as in us Israelites, right? Even so, in Hamashiach, right? which is the second Adam, right? Shall all be made alive. As in who? The Israelites, starting with the elect, okay? Because we're being made alive on this side. Uh, we've been made alive. We've been, I, I used the word, uh, didn't I say quickened in the beginning of this lesson, which quickened goes into what? Being made alive, right? And what does scripture say? What's that? Is that, a, is that Ephesians? Let me see something real quick. Let me get this real quick. Uh, I know that's in Ephesians at the top. What chapter is that? Is that chapter Khan, the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 1. Now, Apostle Paul was speaking to the church of the Ephesians, but guess what? This relates to us in these latter days, man, right now, because we were quickened, we were made alive, we were dead in our sins. Let's get this right. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 1, and it reads, And you. Have he quickened? Quickened means to be made alive. Go look it up. Who uh, who were dead in trespasses and sins. This is the state we were in prior to being uh, endowed with the Holy Spirit. Prior to being um, our, uh, uh, chosen to dwell in the courts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? We were, we were through. Right? But through this, but how were we quickened? Through this word, man. And we can prove that. We got to make, hey, prove all things. This is one of my favorite precepts right here. Right? The book of Psalms. Bear with me. All right. The book of Psalms. Uh, let's see here. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 50, and it reads, This is my comfort and my affliction. For thy word hath quickened me. See, and remember, pursuing the John, the first chapter, Yahweh shies the word. So through Yahweh shy, we've been quickened. You see? 
<laughs> Yahweh Shai sent the Holy Spirit like he promised he would, man. He sent the comforter, man. You see? And we've been we've been comforted through this through the through, through these precepts. Through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, we've been comforted, man. Because we understand that there's an end to this captivity. We understand that there's an end to the wicked. We understand that there's a reward that's coming to those of us that have stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's comforting. You see? All we have to do is endure until the end. Lord willing, we can do that. Right? Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai keeps his spirit on us to be able to endure until the end. Right? Now, let's continue on in the book of Ephesians. There's more I want here through the spirit. There's a lot of meat here. Right? Let's continue on. Wherein in time past, right? Ye walked according to the course of this world. And remember, if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy to the Lord, man. According to the prince of the power of the air, evil E. You can remember, he's the God of this world. Okay? And we can prove that. What's that? Is that, is that we can prove that? That's 2 Corinthians, real quick, we're going to get that. 2 Corinthians um, 4. Right, let's continue on. Let me get that. Let me get this. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And this is why Jay can't get it. This is why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for the majority can't and won't get it. Okay? Because you've been blinded. Let's go get that 2 Corinthians. Let's get that real quick. Right? The book of 2 Corinthians. Uh... Con, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, right? And I'm going to start at verse 3, right? But if our gospel be hid, this gospel, the gospel that's being preached by the elders and apostles of great millstone on down to us like-minded men, the true gospel that we believe wholeheartedly has been sent down from heaven, okay? Literally. Okay, the same gospel that's going to be preached throughout all four corners of the earth and then the end's going to come pursuant to Matthew uh, 24 and 14. Okay, this true gospel, the only true gospel that turned us to righteousness, man. Wacky Christianity, wacky tacky Christianity didn't do it. And no other any, no other uh, any other form of philosophies that were out there. You see, Islam didn't do it. Egyptology didn't do it. Buddhism didn't do it. Witchcraft didn't do it. We were immersed in wickedness, man. We were doing things that are abominable. You see, now we've been quickened. <laughs> we've been made alive through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But back to the point, right? Why you, Jay, can't get it, okay? Why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, for the most part, two-thirds, you can't get it, right? Back in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3, and it reads, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Malachi, the first chapter. Evil E, okay, is coined as the border of wickedness. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? Esau is the end of the world, Second Ezra 6 and 9. But Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See, evil E is in the position of power right now. He's been pinpointed and targeted. Right, and he's why you devil, uh, you uh, so kind. This devil is why you so kind Negroes, Latinos, and Americans can't get it. Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai blinded you. You see, but what did he blind you with? Evil is our, our philosophies, man. Right, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light. See that, Whew. which is this word, right? This word is likened unto a light as well. I believe that's, uh, that's Psalms 119. I want to say 105, right? And whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel, see that word gospel again, right? Which gospel goes into good news, all right? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, Yahweh, should shine unto them, man. See, this light has to shine upon you. This light has been, this light has shined upon us, hopeful elect. This is beautiful, man. We are, we are in a blessed condition right now. We truly are. We grew up, uh, our parents let us down, man. Our families let us down. We grew up in darkness, man, not knowing the truth, being lied to all our lives, 
being told the tooth fairy is real, uh, uh, Santa Claus, yeah, uh, we were celebrating our birthday. We, were, we Man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has done a mighty work in these latter days, man. This is how we know we're at the end. Because now us, we that have children are telling our children the truth. You see? There's whole households being turned into ri uh, righteousness, man. Hey, this is this is uh, <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. This is a glitch in the matrix. This is deep. You know, this damn devil has spent all all types of money trying to keep us through. But through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said he was gonna send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, and he sent it. And here we are, about to be delivered, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. We're about to go home, Akiyam and Akwaf. We're about to go home. Let's go back into that. Uh, um, do I want any more on this Ephesians? Now, I'm, as a matter of fact, let's jump back. Let's jump back to Second Corinthians, right? Let's jump back to Second Corinthians. Um, I'm sorry, First Corinthians. That's all I want in that Ephesians, I believe. Let me see here. I mean, there's so much meat in here. We can go through it, but we're gonna jump. Because I want to stick to my point, right? Back in the book of First Corinthians, right, chapter fifteen, right, and verse twenty-two again. Let's read this again from the top and continue on. For as for as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made. Alive, and it starts with the elect being quickened with this word, man. Okay, it starts with the elect being quickened with this word, because ultimately the uh, the whole nation of Israel is going to be made alive as as far as immortality is concerned. You see, ultimately they're going to come through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. They're going to be born into immortality ultimately at the end of the day. But this it, it, this this being this being made alive starts with us being quickened by this word, man. You see. Which is happening as I speak, right? But every man in his own order. You see, First Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and in order, right? Hamashiach, see? Hamashiach had to die and what he rose, he resurrected, man, through the power of Yahweh, right? The first fruits, right? That 144,000, all right? 12,000 men from each, from each tribe. All right, make up the first fruits, right? The Alahayim, okay? Spoken of in Genesis, the first chapter, right? Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming, right? The, the innumerable multi multitude, all right? Men, women, and children. You can read about that in Revelations, the seventh chapter, okay? All Israelites, all Israelites, man. That's why there's going to be uh, uh, 12... Um, there's going to be 12, um, what's that in Revelations? There's going to be 12 pillars, man. You see, with the names of each nation, uh, each tribe of Israel on it, man. <laughs> you see, it's all about Israel, man. But again, the, the point I'm making is that this, uh, uh, us being, us being, us being made alive starts with us being quickened by this word. It happened. It happened. This is prophecy, man. This is heavy prophecy that took place, man. And now, ultimately, we got to hang in there, hold fast to what we have, let no man take our crown, right? And we're going to be rewarded, okay? We're going to be part of that first resurrection, Lord willing, you see? But, but the reward is coming in that order, in this order. Matter of fact, let's make that point. The book of, uh, what's that, Revelations 11 and 18? The book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 18, it reads, And the nations were angry, right? Why? Because their plans are not going to fall through. All right, this whole fourth industrial revolution, this NWO, right? This, this uh, 2030 agenda, all this is going to fail, right? Why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? It's empty thought. You see, it's, it's not going to come to pass. See, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. See, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Evil is going to fail, right? And these nations are going to be angry because they're going to find out who this man really truly is and how he operates, right? And the nations were angry and thy wrath is come. 
See? Yeah, uh, this is yeah, hey, the day of doom. This is the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai right here. And the time of the dead that they should be judged, man. And the dead, anyone and everyone outside of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, let's make this point real quick. You know, I just want to, you know, scripture says to prove all things. To the best of our ability, we're going to do that. You know, this piece of comes to mind, I'm going to just grab it. Right? The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 16, it reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. What understanding? The understanding of the scriptures, man. The true understanding. All right? The true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. You don't have the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures if you're calling the highest power conceivable and his only begotten son, Yahweh. Okay, or 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 or, or, or uh, um, uh, there's so many the, there's so many blasphemous names you people call the highest power conceivable in His only begotten Son, uh, especially that Christ, that Jesus Christ. That's not the name. Okay, Yahweh's not the name. Okay, Yeshua's not the name. Okay, all these wayward names I can barely remember them because I let them go in and out because I know they're not the name. You see, I'm holding fast to Yahweh, the true name of the highest power conceivable. Okay, which his name means he exists. He is. He's omnipotent, man. Yah means he. Hawa means he is. He exists. You see, Baha Shem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the name of who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Okay, his name means what? Yah means he. Hawa Shai means deliverer. Okay, the Hamashiach, the deliverer of Israel, man. All right, these are the true names in the Lashawan Kodash, the Paleo Hebrew tongue. All right, the, 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 the language, the tongue of the heavens, man. These are the true names. All right, if you're calling on any other names, hey, you ain't got no hope. You through. You through out there. All right, let's continue on. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the den. Okay, which is with these heathen, Esau, and 230UJ that can't get this truth. You see? Let's go back to Revelations 11 and 18 real quick. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. So this judgment coming. See? Judgment day, the day of doom. Judgment's coming. Judgment's coming. All right? Everything you've done, Esau, you're going to be judged for it. All you heathen, you're going to be judged for it. Judgment's coming for everybody. See? And Lord willing, we're hoping for mercy. See? Us hopeful elect, Akiyam and Akwaf, men, women, and children, man, we're hoping for mercy. You see? Because judgment's coming. We all have to sit in the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? And that and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, see, those first fruits. Okay? And to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, Israelites. Okay? Israel, the saints are Israelites, man. Alright, what's that? Psalms 148, Psalms 50. You see? The, the Israelites are, 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 saint, are the saints. The saints are the Israelites. Point blank, period. There's no way around it. Okay? There's no way around that. Men, women, and children are going to be rewarded. Okay? Upon the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Let's continue on. And to them, Salakia, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Judgment, man. That's evil E. Evil E has destroyed the earth. You know, and he's there's judgment for that. Judgment's coming for that. That's not you destroy evil e. You destroying the earth is not gonna go uh, unaccounted for. You're gonna have to answer for these things. One of many things you're gonna have to answer for. Okay, first things first. The uh, the controversy of Zion. You're gonna have to answer for that. You see, for putting your hands on 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 our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and handling us roughly, man. Hey, your history testifies against you. But the point I want to make. Is that reward is coming. You see? And we want to be part of that first resurrection. That's what we want. Okay? We want to be part of that first resurrection. We want to see the kingdom being built up. We want to see these heathen being uh, uh, chastised, man. We want to take part in that chastisement. We want to have that rod of iron. You know? We want to be given the same um, our sovereignty, okay, that we've been promised, man. We want to be part of that. You know, matter of fact, let's close out here. 
Because we're blessed. If you take pie in that, you're blessed, man. Let's get this real quick. Right here. The book of Revelations, chapter 20, and verse 6, and it reads, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. This is, we want to take part in the first resurrection. We want to get this thing on the first time around. Okay? Point blank. Period. We don't want to have to be born into the kingdom, man. You know, we want to be able to be either translated, right? Like our righteous forefathers, right? Beam into a chariot, right? Or hey, even if we have to be a mortar, guess what? Pursuing the first Thessalonians, the first chapter, first chapter, uh, first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, you on the you you gonna be raised up first, you see? So we want to take part of that first resurrection. It says, "Blessed and holy is he, okay, that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power." Right? That second death consists of these missiles coming out fire and brimstone, man. That's going to rain on Babylon the Great and other areas of the earth. And those chariots are going to be doing some serious damage as well. They're going to be, they're going, to be going to and fro, zapping. See? Right? But they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Hamashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years, man. This is what we want to take part of. We want to take part of the buildup of the kingdom. We want to see these things. We want to see it. You see? We want to be part of Ezekiel, the 25th chapter, man. <laughs> when these damn devils fall into the hands of Yasha Allah. Hey, we want to take part of that. We want that. This is what we want. You know, but we got to endure until the end. Lord willing, we're able to. You know, this is what we should be praying for. Being able to endure until the end. You know, that Psalms 51. You know, keep the whole, you know, don't take that Holy Spirit away from me. That beautiful Psalm of David. You know, just pray for, pray to the Lord for endurance, you know, to stay humble and meek, you know, suffer wrongfully, you know, just, just stay in a, stay in an upright mind state, you know, keep the, keep, keep the diligence on us, man. You know, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, we can take part of that first resurrection, you know, but ultimately the point I'm making is that reward is coming. Reward is coming for this work. Reward is coming. Remember, the, the Lord spec specifically is written in the scriptures that our labors are not in vain. Okay, and this is a labor of love. You know, this is out of love, hoping that, you know, one of our people hear this thing, hear this word, right? And, and they turn from their wickedness through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai. You know, this is what we want to see. You know, it's not about cutting people, cutting Esau and, you know, cutting the heathen. I mean, there's no glorification in that. You know, we want to see our people turn from their wickedness. You know, we want to, we want, because at the end of the day, upon all the elect turning completely away from their wickedness, the end's going to come. You see, because again, the elect has been sealed since the foundation of the earth, you know, but they just need to be quick and they need to be made alive. Right? So this word got to be preached. Right? Because just like how we heard the word, they're going to hear the word. Right? And those sleeper cells are going to snap into action. You know? But we are close to that time. We can see the turmoil taking place on the planet Earth. You know, the uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places. Get an earthquake app, you will see. It's, it's ridiculous. Right? And you got the major prophecies on the scene. You're right? The karagma, the C hip, you know, which is a physical thing. <laughs> All right? It's a, it's a micro C H I P. All right? That's the M O T B, the mark of the B E A S T. All right, don't listen to what these other niggas are telling you. All right, it's the size of a grain of rice that they're going to put in your hand or in your forehead. All right, this is the reality of that heavy prophecy. Don't take that, Jake. Okay, you're doomed if you do. All right, you got World War Three literally on the scene. I mean, the tensions are ridiculous. This thing, and we know that we know the CHIP got to come, the CHIP got to come first. But both of these major prophecies are on the scene. And Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. So we're going home in a minute. You know, but Lord willing, us Akiyam and Akwaf, you know, men, women, and children can endure into the end and take part in that first resurrection. All praise, honor, and glory 
to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwidash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf will edify. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kahalalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwidash. Shalom.